I built this electronic eye for a radio in an earlier video. I'm going to work on making a aluminum box to house the electronic parts. I'm thinking like an aluminum cylinder, and then I'll mount that to a wooden base so it'll look nice. So I moved the capacitors so that they wouldn't sprawl out so much. And I'm going to go think about how to build the chassis for this little thing. So for my birthday, my brother got me a couple nice big bars of aluminum, and I'm just going to go ahead and mill out a piece of this, cut it out, and then mill a place where the electronics could go, and then mount that flush to it. I think that'll look nice. So first I'm going to do is lay out where I'm going to cut this off rough, put it in the machine, and cut it. Got a bit of dye in there, and I'll just scribe that. Okay, I've got the bar all set up in the mill machine here. I've got my crappy old saw blade on it, just cutting aluminum. And to go ahead and start cutting this block. Okay, just finished cutting that piece of aluminum off, and a nice little blank piece of aluminum here. And I'm just going to clean up that rough side I just cut. Okay, I've got the blank here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole that the socket will stick up through now. So I'll go ahead and put some dicom on here, mark that out. I'm just gonna scribe the middle of this. give it a center punch. All right, I've got it up in the vise here. I'm gonna use this little wiggler to find the center there. I think that should do it. So here's the socket I'm going to drill the hole for. It's a little less than an inch, so I'm going to drill this out to an inch. And I'm going to start by drilling a pilot hole here. Okay, and I'm going to try to drill this out.
there's the hole. And that one inch hole fits that socket. Okay, so next I'm going to mark and then mill out a bunch of aluminum here to make space for all the components. Okay, determine that about that much should give plenty of clearance, so I'm going to mark that out. And then this is the part I'll remove. Now I'll start roughing out most of this material. Okay, I've got it mostly roughed out. I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the line now. Well, I made a terrible mess milling out all that aluminum. I'll have to clean that up, but I was able to mill out enough space in here for the components. It's not pretty, but it's gonna be on the inside. So I can put the socket in there and it'll mount up nice and flush just like that. So I went ahead and scribed a few little marks where these screws will go. And then I'll just go ahead and give them a little punch. Let's drill these out on my drill press. So to make the back for this, I actually happen to have some three inch wide plate, which uh, will be perfect. And I'll just cut this off and then work it into it. I cut this off with a hacksaw. Now I'm just going to square up that rough edge there. up the other side here. And there's the basic box there. Now I'm going to work on drilling and tapping some holes for some screws to hold the back on. So I'll start with a little bit of dye. I'll describe the locations of the screws. And I'll give them a little center punch.
I'm gonna start off by drilling a couple of small pilot holes. Hey, we got the box mounted in this vise, nice and tight, with the back cover flushly mounted to it. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer these holes, at least two of them, over to the main part of the box. I've got those transferred holes on here. And I can go ahead and drill these out, these two out. So these are the bolts I'm going to use to fasten the back to the main body. These are quarter 20 bolts. So to drill those out, I have a number seven drill bit and then a quarter 20 tap. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these two out and tap them. And I'll go ahead and tap these holes. Okay, then now that I have these two drilled and tapped, I put some bolts in there to hold it, hold the lid in place. And I can just uh, drill the next tap holes through it to keep everything in alignment. Well, it took a little while, but I got all four of these tapped. So the only thing left to do for this back part is to drill out these other two holes, their final dimensions. I'll just go ahead and test fit these together. And there it is, looks pretty good. Might file it down a little bit to make it perfect. See how that goes. I'm actually going to try to sand it down a little bit on my strip sander here. And to mount this to a wood vase, I'm going to go ahead and drill and tap a couple of other quarter 20 holes, but I'll do that off camera. And here's my progress for the day. I got the new holes tapped and drilled for the bolts that'll hold it to its base. I've test fit the socket in there with all of the components on it. And this is upside down, but you can see that I've got the back on it too.
And here it is with the tube installed. It'll go on a base like this, so you can see the eye. Alright, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.